what's up guys, new gamers here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a piston elevator in Minecraft 1.2.5. Um, I've seen loads of other ones like Ethos Lab, it's very very good, but the thing is, it's kind of patched in 1.2.5, so it's quite complicated to get grips, get grips with it, get to grips with it if it's been patched, so you have to change loads of things. So this is for Minecraft 1.2.5. Um, Follow exactly my steps because I'm going to be showing you how to create this exact one. It's a is less redstone wiring, so um, it will be easier for you guys. So just follow, do the exactly the same. Don't do it any higher, any lower than what I'm going to do in this tutorial. Do exactly, and when you're confident, then you can build higher or lower or whatever. But for the moment, watch this tutorial first. Go on creative mode. Do exactly what I do. Then when you get confident, then you can. Um, make your own like higher or lower or whatever yeah so <clears throat> basically I'm just gonna quickly show you a quick elevator bit yes that's how it works uh huh and then my idea just a water drop back to the bottom so let's get started okay basically what you're gonna need to do first is um, get dig a 2x2 two two hole and then um, Get a block, or whichever block you want, and place one, two, three blocks. And on the last block, place bang a non-sticky piston. Then place a sticky piston there, right here. And then place a non-sticky piston there. Then get yeah two wood. Place a sticky piston, non-sticky piston, and then two wood again. And sticky piston, non-sticky piston, two wood. So you get the idea. So go to the height that I tell you. Um, wait, when I get there, I'll show you. Oh my, I hate this bit, man. Right, okay, once you get to this height, that's when I need you guys to stop, right? So, 1, 2, 3 on this side, and 1, 2, 3, 4 on that side. And then, bring up the sides like this. So, um, you see where these bits are? Just bring up the sides like that. Come here. And bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Right, now what you need to do is come to either side of these side panels and then to the side nearest to the actual pistons, to the actual elevator pistons basically, you're going to want to place, um, to, to the to this side, nearest to this elevator, you want to place two blocks and then miss a block, like here, and then place two blocks, miss a block, two blocks, miss a block, two blocks. Same thing on this side, nearest to the piston elevator, you want to do that, that, that. Then, on the back side, you want to place a repeater on the first notch. Repeater, repeater, repeater. The first notch is basically just the start, like when you place it, like that. Then this is second notch, third notch, fourth notch. That's how I call it anyway. And then do the same thing on this side. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, and then place redstone, 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 redstone. Redstone, red. Yeah, redstone, redstone, redstone. Then what you'll need to make sure is make sure they're all on the first notch, right? Okay, they're all on the first notch. Cool. Okay, now what you're going to need to do is come in here and place your button here, right there, yeah? And then where just the block behind it, you want to come dig down two, and then dig the one under the button, and then dig out all of this, and then dig out one there. Then you want to dig out seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then dig up one. And place a repeater here just so the current doesn't run out. And place a repeater here on the fourth notch. Then place the redstone there, redstone there, redstone there, and come out like this. And then come up. And then just leave it there for the moment. <clears throat> now what you're going to need to do is come to the back where you brought this up. And then um, wherever there's a block, not a piston, um, you want to come out of four. So one, two, three, four. What? Yeah, one, two, three, four. So make sure you don't place it on the piston like this, because that's bad. You don't. You want to have the piston open, like not nothing covering it. So on the on your block, that's where you want to place four blocks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you want to place the glowstone on the end of these blocks. Bang, 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 bang. Now we come back to here. Um, basically, when you have come up and then come out two like that. So one, two, three, five, six, seven, and then this is the up, the step, and then come out two. Then place a block there, and place your resident torch. 
basically right now we're going to be we're making our flip flop device and what flip flop device does is make a button makes a button last for longer normally when you click a button it lasts for about 1 second yeah this this device that we're making now is going to make it last for more than uh, 1 second for about 3 seconds which means that when you click the button the button will last for 3 seconds so the pistons won't just go ch -ch -ch, like really quickly so so if you do this that means the pistons will retract after you've come up to the platform not when you're like on it then you the pistons will just basically fall under your feet so what you're going to do is when you place your block and redstone torch you want to place one two three four redstone <coughs> then place a block then place a torch and that will obviously be inverted then come out one and then go and connect it back up to there then we're going to need to place come here and replace a place a bleh, place a repeater there put on the fourth notch and then place redstone there place another repeater another repeater another repeater then place a block there then place another repeater and then make sure all of these are on the last notch the fourth notch right so it should look a little like that so just come out like this make sure there's five repeaters one two three four five and then come back around and connect it okay connect it back up to here so um if you found that a bit complicated just pause the video now and kind of look at it so just yeah okay now once you've done that come to this block like kind of near that and then place a repeater there put on the second notch then um place a repeater going into that piston and put on the second notch then connect the two together make sure they're both on the second notch um and next what you're going to, need to do is place this one on the third notch because you place that one on the second notch so it's going up in um, height order not height order, it's going up in... Ah, I forgot the word, anyway one, two, three oh, crap, sorry, one, two, three yeah, and then bring redstone coming out to the back because you put that one on three, you're going to put this one ascending order, that's it <laughs> then you're going to want to put this on four one, two, three, four and then bring that up out and then because that was on four, you need to put this on five but there is no five. So you're gonna have to do one, two, three, four. Well oh, sorry, four, five. So that equals five to repeat. So one, two, three, four, five. And then bring that out. And then you're gonna need to do six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. You keep on going. Seven. Whoops. And finally, eight. Ta -da. and make sure you always bring it out of this don't forget because that's quite important okay now you need it done now what you need to do next this is the penultimate step come back to remember we made this yeah bring out your glowstone and then to the or another to the side nearest to this elevator like to this bit you're gonna want to put two blocks there so just bring your uh, two by a uh, two glowstone tower like that and then knock out every two blocks and one every two blocks so like make sure so just do this basically bang 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 so it always has to be connecting to this block though it always has to be connecting to a block and then do the same thing on the other side <coughs> and then do the same thing and then you're gonna wanna place redstone on all of them bang and then do the same thing on this side okay and now um, you need done now all you need to do is bring out from here bring out the redstone and you're gonna need to connect all of this to that tower so come yeah put it back to morning and then come out like this and then um, put a repeater here and then put can um, bring the redstone pointing towards there and then do the same thing on this side bang bang right now it's the moment of truth oh yeah first make sure you put um, a block here so if you don't then the piston elevator will just basically kick you out so how the piston elevator works is um, it pushes the pist this piston out then pushes it up and then that, and then it goes up in ascending order like that. If this brick isn't here, it will just push you straight out, straight away. So you need that block there. It's the moment of truth. Click the button. Bang. And can you see what happened just then? You see, um, well, let me show you again. It gets retracted, then I fall back down. 
So now we're gonna um, do something to fix that. So first of all, just replace these with blocks because we're gonna do something with that later. So um, what we're gonna need to do is um, bring these sides up, like about that height, and then just just so you have area to work with, um, bring this out about four. Yeah. Actually five. Yeah, just so you have area to work with, it's kind of it's easier basically. Just like I did there. Right, okay. So now what we're gonna need to do is um so we don't fall through there, we're gonna need to have piston a piston pushing our body outwards so we don't fall back through there. So basically what we're going to do is place miss this one and place two blocks there and place sticky pistons on top. And then oh yeah, place um a block of your choice there. And then come to the back of it and place four blocks like this. Yeah, not like that, like that. And then place two repeaters here and put them on the full notch, on fourth notch, and then join them up like that. And then put two repeaters here and put this one on the full notch, the first one, and this one kept on the first notch and then join these these two lines up. You see what I did there? Yeah, okay. So now what happens is this is delayed, these two pistons are delayed at the most so when all of the other ones um, when all of these ones are finished this will push you out so you don't fall back through there then, then um, now what I'm going to do is basically, wait let me just cover this up yeah you might want to do a bit of covering up for the moment Okay. Anyway, um, now what we're going to need to do is basically to add add even more protection, so you definitely can't fall down there. I'm going to put a door there, an iron door. So, yeah. So the only way to get down is by the water drop. So get your iron door, and then um, come to this side. So the iron door is like this to the inside of it. Yeah, you get it. So come to this side where you place these pistons. So the door is on the completely inside. So if I go here, there's no space like that. Yeah, if you get that. Now, to power these um, iron doors to open as soon as we press the button. Yeah, I hate this rain. You're gonna need to put um, a redstone repeater next to this one. You know the t t this tower thing we made. Put one next to it, and then join it up with redstone. And do the same thing on the other side. Yeah. That's it. That's your elevator done. Yes, it's easy. Oh, sorry. That's supposed to be on the first one. It's absolutely... How can it be? It's done so quickly. Well, yes. That is the power of redstone. I'm joking. Yeah, so that's how easy it was. Um, do this a few times on your creative mode. Um, if you feel confident, then you can make it taller. And... Um, there's one thing I need to okay. Let's just test this out first because I really like. I really want to test this out. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Uh, moment of truth. I'll show you what happens. It pushes you. See that? That that block came out and pushed you. Pushed you, and the doors opened and closed. It's it happens really quickly, so I can't really show you, but you'll figure it out for yourself. Okay. Wait. If you want to make it taller than this, you'll find that the redstone runs out incredibly quickly. I mean, it only travels it. Well, not that quickly, but it only travels for a little while. So, um, what you're going to need to do to solve that problem... Ah, crap, wrong block. Ah, wrong block again. So, I'm just, say if you're building up to... Bang, bang. Okay, let's place this with a redstone torch. Just so we know when the thing's going to run out. Ah. Keep on going. Not run out yet. Keep on going. Has it run out yet? Does that look run out? I don't know. I'm not good at spotting these things. <sighs> yeah, that's run out. That's run out there. Okay, so you see that at this block it runs out. So if you're building it to this height, then it's going to run out there. Then your it won't power your pistons, right? So what you're going to need to do to solve this issue where the block just before it's about to run out, what you're going to need to do is place a block there and then place a repeater 
and your problem is solved. Now all you need to do is just carry on your um, this tower on this side. So you know, just carry on going, you know, like that, and then knock out every second block, whatever. Oh crap! That failed. That that yeah. I'm so bad at knocking every second block out. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. There. Okay. So now it's all fresh. Yay! So now you can go up for another 15 blocks or whatever. So that's just a and don't try coming back in because it won't work because you need more space to put these things. You know, more repeaters. So just leave it like that. So so yeah that's it so just uh, carry on doing these things and like in ascending order so once you've done 8, eight do 9, 10, 11, 12 you know joining with these things and then if you want to stop just um, make this thing to push your thing out so you don't fall and then it's just the same principle really so um, yeah that's about it so um, hope you enjoy this tutorial guys and if you have any questions um, regarding I don't know any any difficulties you had if it didn't work for you um, if you're doing anything wrong just put actually PM me don't put it if it's you can put it in the comment box but it'll be better to PM me anyway so I can kind of you know tell you personally but um, <clears throat> if you have any questions just PM me and I'll I feel I'll definitely answer them for you if I can um, but it should work fine for you guys but just remember to have it at this height first, yeah. Like the first time you do it, do it exactly how I do it, yeah. And then if you want to have it higher, like even higher than when the redstone runs out, just do exactly what I just said there for the redstone to come out, yeah. So hope you enjoy this tutorial, guys. Um, it's really cool. Um, it's actually X. If anyone knows X Dowsy, he's like my hero, my YouTube hero. He's just epic. Look at his redstone tutorials, man. This guy is just epic. He has even wireless redstone tutorials. Epic guy. I got this idea of him. Um, he's a really cool guy. I love him. Uh, 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 no homo. Hey. <laughs> um, but anyway, just check out his um, his version of this. It's exactly the same. So I hope you joined this tutorial, guys. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, peace out.